Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Grey Wolf 24RR Black Label. Before we get started, this camper comes in at 33 feet, 4 inches long, tongue to bumper, and weighs just under 6,200 pounds empty. As we get started up front here, we have your power tongue jack with the LED light, so you can see at nighttime when you're hooking up. <coughs> Excuse me, two 20-pound LP tank bottles that will be filled by the Outpost RV. We have the hard shell cover with a quick access lit up top there. We have your Group 27 deep cycle marine battery behind that. So we do have the juice pack option on here, meaning there's a 100 watt solar panel on the roof and the battery comes with it. Diamond plate rock guard, we have your curved radius front end. Two main features on the black label package is the fiberglass on the exterior and the deep tinted frameless windows as well. It's also gonna come with these magnetic door catches here. In the front storage compartment, you can see lots of room there. Spare tire is included. We do have the electric stabilizer jacks on here. How that works, there's gonna be a switch down below. You hold the button down, one leg will come down and hit the ground and the other one will come down at equal out in pressure. We have your tempered glass uh, entrance door here. This goes straight into the bedroom area. There is a full size screen door there as well with your entrance steps. Right back here, we have this holographic light with the wolf head emblem that they've added. Really neat feature. It's the same decal that's on the front of the camper. So at nighttime, really makes your camper stand out. Underneath this, underneath the 15 foot power awning here, we have your blue LED accent light. Each leg is adjustable. So if there's uh, the sun's coming down, you can adjust the pitch of the awning there. Outside kitchen, which is pretty unique with a toy hauler. We have your mini fridge, ice maker, water source, and your griddle that comes with it. There is an LP quick disconnect underneath, so you can use the gas on the camper to run the grill there. We have your outside, the furnace vents. Outside entertainment center with your speakers that light up blue. The TV bracket is the same bracket on the inside, so you lift your TV up, bring it out here and drop it in, and your TV connections here. You'll notice the center cap is popped off. This is a quick easy lube axles. All four wheels have self-adjusting brakes and also a tire pressure monitoring system. It'll give you the PSI on the end here to let you know how full to fill your tires to. And it'll also turn red if you're low on air. So you can just walk around and do a visual check before you head off for your next destination. In the back here, we have your main entrance door with the oversized grab handle, the sturdy steps, full-size entrance door that also has the same screen door as the front one and an integrated window as well. As we move to the back, we have your leash latch. We are pet friendly, so the furry family members can tag along. We have this vent over here. Also one on the other side, so you can get cross ventilation if you're hauling something with fuel in it. In the back, we have the patio system all set up here, as you can see, with the ramp door patio. And it will have a full screen wall that comes down to keep the bugs out. You'll see that with our pictures online. Backup camera is included, as well as the bright LED light up there. The camper also has a ladder prep, which is right up top here, so you could buy a portable ladder that would attach right there and allow you to get up there for roof maintenance purposes. We do have a sewer hose holder underneath here. So when traveling or not in use, you can store your sewer hose down below there. This is a 30 amp unit and it comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. We have your black tank flush. So when you're done camping for the week or weekend, you simply hook up your water hose here and that'll blast out the tank for you. We have this nice bright LED light by all your water connections and dump station. So if it's nighttime, you can see what's going on. Outside shower with hot and cold water here. And then right underneath that, we have your water fill station. On the right hand side is the city water. So if you're at a campground, you hook up your water hose and that'll pressurize the lines for you. And then your fresh water. So that way, if you're gonna dry camp or boondock, you can fill up your fresh water tank and turn on your water pump and utilize that water. Cable connection. So if your campground offers that, you could tap right into it. And last but not least, we have your on-demand water heater. It is gas only, but it is on-demand. So you're only using gas when you're running hot water, which is about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. And that'll conclude our outside walkthrough of the Grey Wolf 24RR Black Label. And now we'll take a look at the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice we have another light shining down that has the Black Label emblem. In the back here, we have the toy hauler with your dinette. This floor plan is extremely open. Lots of room inside here. A great layout as well. We'll get a nice overview of the camper here. Got the kitchen area. And then we'll go ahead and get started right inside the entrance door. 
As you can see, it's got that window integrated. Your main control panel right here. So this will allow you to turn your lights on and off, run your slide room in and out, check your tanks to see how full and empty they are. And at that top right, you can also see it is Bluetooth. So you can sync your phone to it and run some of the options that way. In the kitchen area, great overhead storage. We have your entertainment center. You can see the TV bracket there. Dual windows in the kitchen, which are both uh, really long, great size there. Extra counter space wrapping around. We have your stereo, which is AM, FM and Bluetooth compatible. So you can sync your phone to it and play music that way. Fireplace down below. And underneath that, we have your shoe garage. So you can kick your shoes off and store them underneath there. Again, in the kitchen area, we have your microwave up top, range vent that will vent to the outside, overhead cabinets, lots of lights. And actually underneath, you can see they have even more LED lights there, really brighten things up. Three burner stove top with the glass cover. So you could use that as prep space if you're not cooking. Oven and your furnace down below. Underneath the sink, we have extra cabinet space and your storage drawers on the left-hand side. High-rise faucet with a pull-out sprayer. And we also have the farmhouse-style sink here with the covers. So you can use that as prep space if you are not cooking. And here's a look at the sink. As we move back into the bathroom area, we have your digital thermostat. That'll control your air conditioner and your furnace. And right before we go inside there, uh, we are gonna have your pantry directly across, as well as your refrigerator here. With the pantry, we have multiple shelves in here, lots of storage, and it goes all the way down. Right beside that, we're gonna have the refrigerator, which is a 12 volt fridge, which is why we have the juice pack option on here. So you can run that while you're traveling down the road. It's more of a residential size refrigerator. It is the 12 volt, so it goes all the way back. It doesn't need the same ventilation like the gas and electrics would need. And then down underneath that, we have your converter on the left-hand side. I'll try to step back here and get a better look for you. We have your converter on the left-hand side with your breakers and fuses. The red key is a 12 volt cutoff switch that will kill all power to the battery. Then we have a voltmeter and a carbon monoxide detector. As we move up into the bathroom area, they have this extended countertop in here as well. So you'll notice this goes wall to wall. We have storage down below with that. Up top, we have the large single bowl sink and this huge corner medicine cabinet as well. On the wall, we're gonna get a 110 outlet, a light switch, and then also your thermostat for the on-demand water heater. That is where you can turn that on and off and control the temperature for the water. Over here, we're gonna have your toilet down below. Up top, we do have this large Max Air vent fan. It is a multiple speed fan and it will act as an exhaust fan for you. In the shower area, we have a skylight up above. Also part of the black label package is gonna be this really fancy shower head that comes with it. This large rectangle shower. You have the main shower head, the handle, and the extra sprayers that come out down below there. As we move up into the bedroom area, we have your RV Queen mattress. We have the blue lights up above, which will also turn into reading lights. On both sides of the bed, you're gonna have a power source. Over here, we have your 12 volt charger, a 110 outlet, and then also um, the other bracket is actually gonna be for a Bluetooth speaker that you can purchase separately. We have hanging storage on both sides of the bed with cabinets up above. The cabinets above have doors on them, so you can use those as storage even while traveling down the road. Over here beside the bed is a little unique. We have an inverter outlet 
So that will give you 110 power even when you only have 12 volt hooked up. So if you're going down the road and you only have 12 volt power, that outlet will be hot for you. Here's a look at the door from the inside. Also unique with this floor plan is gonna be the extra storage you get in the bedroom area. As you can see we have the two doors up above, two doors down below, and then another open area at the very bottom there. I'm gonna to try to come over here and open up one of these doors up top so you can see inside. As you can see, there is a shelf. It goes up on the top and the bottom here. And of course, there is another TV bracket in the bedroom. So you could add a TV up here if you wanted to. There is the bracket and the connections up top. Now we'll go back and take a look at the toy hauler part with the dinette as well. Up top on the ceiling, we have a skylight that also has a cover with it. We're going to have your speakers on the ceiling that light up blue and the subwoofer as well. In the back, we got windows on both sides of the dinette. This dinette will also turn into another sleeping area. Got the porch all set up. You can see the screen wall, which is rolled up. And of course, the helmet rack over here up above for extra storage. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the 24RR Black Label. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.